My name is Harlan Otter from the New Milford Coffee Roasting Company. Today I'll be showing you how to make a quality cup of coffee using a French press in four easy steps. Before beginning, make sure you have the proper tools. Only three special appliances are needed. Which are a kettle, a coffee grinder, and a French press. Additional equipment, which is helpful for making the best possible cup of coffee, are a water filter, a measuring tablespoon, and a mixing spoon. And of course, we'll need a ready supply of good old-fashioned H2O and Kraft coffee beans. The first step is pouring the filtered water into the kettle. Let's hope the water filtration process eliminated any fresh from the swimming pool chlorine overtones. Open the kettle and pour the water one third of the way up. If you overfill the kettle, it will take too long to brew and any unused water will accrue a stale taste. Anyhow. At the New Milford Coffee Roasting Company, we prefer brewing small batches since every cup is tailor-made for our guests. Turn the kettle on and select 195 Fahrenheit as the temperature setting. This way, the water will get appropriately hot but won't boil and overheat the coffee grounds. We don't like serving our guests burnt drinks, unlike our corporate competitors' disgusting tasting tarmac. While the water is heating, we'll move on to the second step, grinding the coffee beans. This is a fairly simple process. Scoop three and a half tablespoons of beans into the grinder, then press the grinder button down for about eight seconds. We want the grains to be of a medium coarse size because dust like fine grains won't produce a full flavor and rough grains will impede operation of the press. Third step is pouring the coffee grounds and hot water into the French press container. Insert the grounds first, followed by the hot water. Fill it up to nearly the top, then stir the grounds with a mixing spoon. Leave room for the press filter to be inserted over the water. A firm seal should be made with the filter so heat doesn't escape and the maximum amount of flavor can be extracted. The coffee must steep for three to four minutes. During this time, you should bond with the guests with polite small talk with topics such as the weather or the performance of the local sports teams. Unless the guests are too immersed in their digital technology, I can't help just to see what Connie's been up to. After the appropriate amount of time, we'll finish with our fourth step, the actual pressing. Make sure the press top is flush against the opening of the container. Then apply a medium amount of weight to the handle. Feel the give of the device and don't push past its steady downward motion. Too abrupt a press can break the appliance. Our cup of superbly brewed coffee is now ready. Align the press's filter slots with the container's pour spout. 
Then empty your desired quantity into a tastefully decorated mug. I love the smell of coffee in the evening.